In this video, the auditor is auditing the effective implementation of the organization's process for problem solving related to customer complaints. The auditor is auditing with the organization's quality manager. The organization is at tier two in the automotive supply chain. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor audits this process effectively. Can you explain your process of problem solving related to customer complaints? Yeah, <clears throat> so we have a, a documented process that I can take you through that describes our problem solving process. And what objectives do you have related to this process? So the primary objective is the number of complaints received. So the overall response time to complaints is another thing that we look at and the number of repeats. So number of complaints, response time and number of repeats. Okay. And how many customer complaints have you had in the last 12 months? In the last 12 months, we have, um, we've had 12. Um, so we're averaging one a month. All right. And what about your response time? So we've set a target of 30 days um, to complete the problem solving and give the final response to the customer. Currently, we're running at an average response time of, let me just get the latest information, 65 days. Okay. So right. over our target. All right. What, and why aren't you achieving your target? Well, that's primarily down to resources. So we are constrained, if I'm honest. We have um, normally three engineers working on, on problem solving, uh, but currently we've only got one. But we are trying to recruit um, to fill those gaps. And what's your customer target for response? Um, our customer target is... and. From my knowledge, we only have one customer active that actually specify a, a time um, and they specify in their customer specific requirements 30 days. So we've kind of modeled our internal process on that 30 day deadline. And what about repeat concerns? We have had two repeat concerns, unfortunately. And um, why were they repeated? Um, they're difficult. They're difficult problems to solve. It's, um, we rely heavily on the visual inspection around these um, components and by their very nature are always going to be prone to repeat concerns. And these uh, two repeat issues, were they discussed in the review of the FEMA? Uh, they, they were not. Um, that, that hasn't happened since the last annual review. So we've got another review coming up in about 10 months. Um, so during that PFMEA review happening in about 10 months time, we will review this. Okay. I have uh, several concerns here, but I'll follow up with the process owners. Okay, sure. Let's summarize. The good thing in this video is the auditor is driving their audit questions based around the objectives for this process. The auditor should now follow up in the HR and the management processes the issues identified around resourcing. Also, the auditor should follow up on the process of PFMEA review as this does not appear to be effective. ATF 16949 requirement 10.2.1 problem solving requires the relevant documents which could include the PFMEA to be reviewed in the event of customer related issues. In this case it appears not to have been done and there have been instances of repeat concerns. Let's summarize the key learning points. Auditors should always use the process objectives, sometimes called KPIs, to drive their audit trails. The PFMEA should be reviewed in the event of any customer related issues. For more information visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe.